All right, here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside of the arena to build up to the fight to in the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. On that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. That one snuck in. Nice fight. Oh, how good is that Fourier jab? He's got huge hands, and so it looked like it did start a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go change that finish down. Solid strike on the ground. And he landed the right hand there. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out in this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And they separate. Two minutes remain in the round. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Dig and kick. Nice hook. Oh, straight right. And they separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big knee there. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Slips. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Seconds winding down in the opening round. <laughs> round two straight ahead. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Okay, you All right, round two. Nice job by Dustin Fourier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch from the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice straight right lands. Caught the kick. And they separate. Continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Poirier's lower jaw. Oh! oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the end. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown? Oh, he's out! He got him! What a fight! Yeah, 
Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's re the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of round number two. Going the winner by knockout, Dustin the Diamond Warrior. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.